Welcome back. While they are called lobbyists or intermediaries in other countries, in India they are known as middlemen. While lobbyists have a vital role in bringing vendors and buyers on a single platform, middlemen are controversial for receiving kickbacks and making gains disproportionate to their services. Payments made to them often end up as bribes to officials for unfair means to sweeten their deal. Let's examine India's policy towards middlemen, especially in the field of defence, down the years. In 1989, India banned defence agents from weapons acquisitions. This measure was deemed necessary in the wake of allegations faced by the former Rajiv Gandhi government of kickbacks being given to middlemen in the purchase of 155 mm field howitzers from the erstwhile Swedish company Bofors. Middlemen essentially broker a deal or a play connecting the uh, buyer or a prospective supplier of equipment and they, play, they know the system very well. The systems, the procedures and here say one system, the government, the ministries and the procedures which are quite cumbersome otherwise. So they know where to play it well so they can help you swing the deal in favour of a certain party who pays them a certain amount of share in whatever manner. It is so essentially it's irregularity. You know, it may not be the right product or even an expensive product, but they're trying to swing you the deal in a favor by. It can mean various means. They can change the specifications, by which there is only one product which suits the requirements. Like it happened in the Augusta case, VVIP chopper deal. That's the case about the specifications have been tweaked to favor one party. So in the, in other cases, it can be that they can connect you with the right buyer or uh, we connect the company officials with the right officials in the government who handle the case, who are in charge of the say evaluation, procedure, rule making, where they will work out a background deal. So essentially they, they, are not visible, they are not officially present in the system, but they broker the deals and try to swing deals in favour of certain parties. Over the years, while there were efforts to revisit the decision, it was only in 2016 that the government, under its Defence Procurement Procedure Policy, decided to allow overseas original equipment manufacturers to hire defence agents. The intention was to make original equipment manufacturers responsible for ensuring transparency in defence deals. The government sought to introduce adequate safeguards to ensure there was no malified activity. Now, when the present government came into being, once again the present government very sincerely felt that middlemen like any other country should be permitted to root out corruption and to bring in transparency and to bring in competitiveness and greater efficiency and also to give a mega push to make in India because technologies must be understood before they can be absorbed, absorbed and assimilated. To get a better hang of the entire thing, they decided to permit the middlemen. Okay. And However, once again, the middlemen have to be registered, etc. The policy has been formulated. It was formulated by Manohar Parikar when he was a defense minister and put into practice. And that is the current policy as of now. But in these 30 years, despite the ban, defense agents continued to operate as middlemen under the garb of shell companies, trusts and offshore companies based overseas. Middlemen come into the deals because your procedure is long, cumbersome and time taking. See, uh, essentially in all defense deal, for example, the companies which, if, you, if the tender is floated by the government, the government or the services, which is a monopsony, there is only one buyer and there are many sellers. So you put out specifications and there is a long process of trials because the, what you call the no cost, no commitment, where the services have no liability of anything. The company is supposed to bring their equipment, test it, prove it. Only if they get the order, you get something or all the others, you know, it's a quite time consuming and capital incentive effort. So this actually gives rise to middlemen because there is a room for arbitration where they see, okay, let's circumvent a system. You know, sometimes it can be that, you know, there is a good product. Okay, let me sell it in a quicker way. So let's fix it. So, you know, you get it for sure. You don't have to go through the loops. And that's how the opportunity arises for middlemen to come into the system because of the comparison procedures we have. Under present guidelines, the government can veto any agent proposed by an overseas defence company. 
Further, the overseas defence company hiring the agent must provide financial information including a copy of the contract and details of payment terms between the vendor and the agent. Detailed guidelines notwithstanding, Defence Minister Sita Raman has said no defence deals under the Narendra Modi-led NDA government have been conducted with middlemen. With inputs from Asthakul Shreshth, Bureau Report, Rajasabha TV.